So you've probably heard leaders say in the industry or in your industry that you have to take consistent, massive action in order to be successful in your business. And this is true. You really do need to be consistent and take massive action in your business if you want to be successful. But let me ask you this. Have you ever had issues with being consistent? I know I have. And this is what we're going to talk about on the next iMogul TV. So stay tuned. Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios, where I help network marketers and direct sellers build their business from the brand up without the need of prospecting or feeling like a pushy salesman, because let's face it, nobody wants to feel like a pushy salesman, right? And today, I want to actually share with you the six keys to consistencies. And this, these are the keys that help uh, or I should say that the top leaders, the industry leaders, the six, seven, eight figure earners swear by in order to make them more consistent in their business. So let's get started. Okay, number one, you gotta have a vision for who you wanna become, right? We all heard the, whole, the old uh, biblical reference to without a vision, people perish, and this is true. If you don't know what you want or what you want, if you don't have a picture of what you're trying to achieve, uh, if you don't have an end game picture of what you want your business, what you want you to look like in the next year, six years, I like to go yearly or you know what I'm saying? You want to have a visual idea of exactly what it is that you want to achieve and what that's going to look like. What's it going to feel like to have, you know, the kind of business that's, you know, making the kind of money that you've always dreamed of, you know, where are you living? Um, where are you doing business from? Are you doing it from your home? Are you doing it on the beach? You want to get really visual. And I know a lot of people, um, like the idea of using vision boards and vision boards are cool. I prefer, I actually don't particularly care for vision boards because it's a big board. I usually end up putting it in a closet somewhere. Or even if I put it on the wall, for some reason, I don't even look at it. But what I do like, and I got an idea from, was to use an actual al photo album. Your old-fashioned photo album where people used to have photos, physical photos, and you would stick them in the photo album, right? So you, you can do the same effect of cutting out different images, different pictures of what you uh, believe is representative of your vision for your business and just start putting them in your photo album. Make it small enough or big enough to fit in your purse so you can take it around with you. So you always have it where you can flip through it and look at it. You can change it. You don't need glue or anything like that like with a vision board. Um, you can easily remove pics and add pics and it will really kind of keep you motivated to um to your goals now if you like using a vision board you can also do that as well obviously that's going to work too whatever is going to get your daydreaming mode you got to start daydreaming daydreaming is a is a way is a is a natural tool of creation um, you want to start thinking and dreaming and 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 just seeing yourself and feeling feeling yourself there Number two is you got to have a routine. If it's just like, you know, you won't go to bed without brushing your teeth. It becomes a habit. You got to start having a routine. You want to have a specific time that you allot for yourself where you get whatever it is you need to get done, which means you got to tell people if it, if it means you have to tell people in your family, look, do not talk to me between the hours of such and such because I'm working on my business. Tell your kids, tell your husband that today is the day I'm gonna be working on my business and I'm gonna be doing this every day at this time, you know, at this day of the week so they know not to disturb you, okay? So this is vital because you know, we get caught up in our family and you know, but we're always there for our family. As women, we're always there. So you need to allot some time for you to take care of you so that you can achieve what it is that you set out to achieve, right? Right. Number three, you wanna think about the alternative. Ponder on what would happen if you didn't achieve your dream. What would it feel like if you were just, you know, at the same job five years from now? Um, if you had the same bank account, bank account with the same amount of money five years from now? 
what would that feel like? What would that mean to you? And I always talk about getting in touch with the feeling because this feeling is where the connection comes. When you feel something, then you'll act on it. When you feel motivated, you're going to act on it. When you feel like, oh, wait, even fear to some degree, you don't want to rely on fear because we can forget the pain. We forget fear really quick and it's no longer a really good motivator. But you really want to ponder on what life would be like if you five years from now, even a year from now, if you never pursued your dreams and you weren't consistent and you would basically be probably in the same place that you are right now. I know I've experienced that. So, you know, I know what I, I know what I speak. <laughs> Number four, you want to have a 30 day goal. I know some people say you want to have a yearly goal. Where do you see yourself in a year? Or where do you see yourself in 30, um, or five years? You actually want to have 30 day goals where every 30 days, every month you create three to four of things that you want to achieve and you make it a priority to get them done. Okay. You, um, the fact that you're doing this every 30 year or every 30 years, oh Lord, <laughs> the fact that you're doing this every 30 days is basically going to keep you on track. It's going to make sure that you know what it is to, that you need to do and you're going to make it your business to get it done. So you've got to have those goals. You have to have something to shoot for every month, whether it's how many people that you want to attract into your business, um, how many signups you want to have, how many sales you want to have. Make sure you have those goals. And even if they have to carry over into the next month, right, you're not going to scratch them off your list no matter what until you get them done. At least that's what I do. Number five, daily practice. So if you want to get good at something, you got to keep it going. You got to practice it on a daily basis. So if you're learning a new strategy, you want to do that strategy every day until it becomes this kind of a habit, right? You learn how to do a Facebook ad or you learn how to write a blog post. If you're blogging, you want to learn how to blog and do it on a daily basis. Now, you don't have to you don't have to put out a blog every day. I mean, that's they that used to be the old school way, but now, you know, you can do a blog once, maybe twice a week. But to get started, you want to get into the habit of it. So you want to practice it daily. Same with cutting videos, and you need to do it daily until it becomes routine. That's just like brushing your teeth, right? You, once you started doing it and for whatever reason you felt that there was a benefit and that if you didn't do it, then you would get cavities or you would lose your teeth. So you made it a point to make sure that, you know, you, that you're, you're brushing your teeth every day, right? So that's the same. It's the same concept. And lastly is push through. This is the most important, I think, um, part of the most important key, I think, in this whole lineup. The reason why is because um, you, you can't give up. You know, we're all going to have these ups and downs in our business. You're going to, you know, you're going to stall for a little bit and, you, but you got to push through. And I want to tell you a little story. Um, there was a time where in the beginning of my business that I was so frustrated by the lack of results I was getting. I mean, I was seeing all these other people who were really, you know, making moves in their business and they were getting so far past me. I just was like, Maybe I'm not meant to do this. Maybe I'm not good enough, right? That whole I'm not good enough thing. Maybe this just was not meant to be. So I made it a point to say, I'm just going to quit. I'm just going to stop altogether. I'm just going to get off the internet. I'm no longer going to try this. I sucked offline and I'm sucking online. So just F it. <laughs> I'm just not going to do it anymore. And for a whole year, guys, for a whole year, I didn't do anything in my business. I didn't market. I didn't think about it. Well, that's a lie. I did think about it. And that was the, let me just explain to you that that was the worst year of my life. I was miserable because when you have a desire in your heart, just because you quit doesn't necessarily mean it's going to go away. If that desire is real, it's not going to go away. No matter what you do, you have to continue to do it no matter what. And for that year, I just felt like I had no purpose in life. I knew that I wanted to make this happen. I knew I wanted to make this dream come true and uh, I didn't do anything about it. And I was depressed and it was just a mess. I was just a mess. So finally I got back on the bandwagon and I said, screw this. I'm going to, no matter how long it takes me, right? No matter how many people I see flying past me, I'm going to keep going because see some people have more blocks and issues that they need to deal with 
on their rate on their on their rise to the top some of us have more issues that we need to remove more blocks we need to remove than others some people don't have all these things so they they kind of breeze through they 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 seem like they're passing you up because they don't have to deal with some of the things that we have to deal with but the purpose of going through the process is to get rid of those blocks the purpose of being the person that you want to be the person that you dream about who is a successful business owner, who has this amazing, huge audience, downline team, who are selling all the products that you wanna sell, that's the person that has to be cultivated, has to be pruned, has to be um, sort of uh, built from the ground up in order to get to that place. So you may have more things that you have to get rid of in order to get to that place place that you want to be. And when I got back into uh, my marketing, when I finally got back into what I knew my heart told me that I should be doing, uh, all of a sudden I was getting things coming to me and um, opportunities and people and I changed the way I marketed my business and I learned something. I actually learned something from quitting, but I don't suggest quitting. I had to learn, I chose to learn the hard way. I'm telling you, don't learn the hard way. Push through keep going no matter what and you will get to the other side you will see success in your business all right so that's it if you found value in this post in this video um, and you're watching me on youtube please subscribe because i do these tips often well i'm going to be doing it more often i took a little break from doing videos but yeah subscribe to my channel leave a comment let me know how you feel, what you're doing, and if these keys have helped you at all. If you're watching me on Facebook, also leave a comment and tell me where you're calling from. If you're watching the replay, replay then uh, let me know what city that you are uh, watching me from. And also, I'm going to leave a link because I have a private Facebook group for marketers like you, direct sellers, network marketers, and uh, you get exclusive access to the content in the group. So click the link below and join us as soon as possible. All right, so I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.